Super Bowl is right around the corner. We went back through the archives to look at New Kids on the Block as the halftime show in 1991. Oh Take a look, Donnie Wahlberg, and tell us just what you remember about that halftime Well, show. I had a little swag right there. You see, I had some swag. I was definitely not fully indulging into the Walt Disney aspect of it all. I was, I wanted to be a little rebellious. You know, I remember they came to us. This was actually the first time that they used a major pop star to do the big halftime, the way they do it now. This was sort of the, the forefather for that. Um, they, they came to us and said, we'd love you guys to do the halftime. We want to build a big extravaganza around a pop artist. And um, we were like, uh, OK, great. And then it was like, but we want it to be all Walt Disney, which now as a dad, I would be like, oh, of course. But back then, I was like, what? Did you well, push back? Were dance. you like, no, I'm Donnie Wahlberg. I'm like the bad boy. I'm not doing this. Well, I was rebelling. I was rebelling. As you saw, I had my tattoos exposed and stuff. I looked like, you know, I was I was rebelling like Justin Bieber does nowadays. <laughs> you know, I'm tough. <laughs> I got a tattoo. Yeah, we think you are the forefather of the chin strap, by the way. We're willing to give that yeah, to I you. I was definitely the forefather of the chin strap beard um, but you know it was really fun and the great thing for us is that Super Bowl halftime was preempted because President Bush made a speech because we were in the first Iraq war and nobody saw it which for me was a big relief <laughs> <laughs> you would have never lived that down in the neighborhood. I just didn't really feel comfortable out singing It's a Small World yeah. in front of 100 million people. 